Welcome back, everyone. Once more, we go back onto the breach. For Dice Toyers 3, Sin Shang Shang. Next up is the Nanmon campaign. I, I love this cutscene. This, this cutscene is a thing of beauty. Hello, bad news. We're in trouble. Don't you dare disturb my So he throws his food. I'm sorry. But, but, but the He's just hurtling army. meat at him. Approaching from the east. What? To the east? Those sissies from Wu? And now he's just that standing on the table. Interesting. Perhaps we should oblige them. She's the closest thing to sounding sensible in this entire cutscene. Get ready for battle. Quickly. Y yes. That, that guy's voice. Y yes. Like, the, the terror that that man, that that man felt. And I actually have exactly five items, so that works out. You know, if my bodyguard... You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have archers. They're all gonna die, probably, but... but... We'll have bodyguards, why not? So the goal is to defeat Meng Huo, who is right there. You know, like, all, the, all, all these people are irrelevant, apparently. I always love how they look exactly the same. Also, like, one of the only missions in the game where she actually shows up. Alright. Shit. Huh, for some reason I thought that was a different- that it was usually a different officer there. But yeah. When I was little, I used to think that helmet, they had like bug eye- actual bug eyes or something. Because I had a smaller TV back then, it was really weird. Alright, so, let's jump right in. Ah yes, the land of Nanmon. The battle is not an act of aggression. Really? I mean, it seems pretty aggressive to me. We will attack their spirits and make them submit. Seems legit. Alright, so... As you can see, most of them are shirtless. There's shirtless men everywhere. Yet they are very durable. Like, that must be a lot of muscle they have or something if they're able to take hits this well without proper armor. I defeated an officer. Alright. That's done. My bodyguards are already taking a beating. Oh my god. They're, they have the, uh... Models of majors, but they're just holding bows. It's ridiculous. Death, <laughs> ah, yes, time to win the battle. Yeah, for the commander, you're really, uh. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Ah! There's another army. Right before I could stop him. Oh wait, that's not even the move I was trying to use that time. I mean, it works, but... Alright, good. Officer. Defeated. But the battle's not over. Because he knows how to block. Apparently. I've seen your tactics! Next time, I'll defeat you! As he flails his arms around and then runs. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't do? Ah, oh, I should have grabbed the horse. They're not, they're, I, with my luck, they're not gonna fall off their horse. Okay. This is fun. Let's just get a move on.
th there should be some guys with, uh, some the officers over here on horses, so I should be able to get one there, and hopefully I'm a high enough rank that they don't buck me. Oh, oh, no, 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 glitch. You're here. You're early. Out of context, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, no. Alright, Wutuku, he does not have a horse. Yes, because that's what arrows would do. Our arrows have no effect! I don't know, I don't feel like arrows would ricochet like that. Maybe they would, I don't know. I mean, I've done archery before. I took a class at a community college. But, I've never really experienced arrow ricochet. So if it ha does happen, then I just don't know it. One attack, really? You're holding out on me. Oh, boy. This is fun. Will you? For a reference, he's talking about all the various tr Nanmon tribes coming together to stop our invasion of sorts. It's just very poorly uh, conveyed in this game. Okay, we're trying to just seal the gate, because these guys take forever to defeat. Alright. Come on. Down you go. I like how if you stop hitting triangle, it just awkwardly stops. My bodyguards are actually not dying in like two hits, despite their abysmal defense stat. Oh wait, you're mine. I don't know, that character model holding a bow just looks ridiculous. Oh, you've taken a beating. I mean, bodyguards do make things a lot easier once they're strong enough to not die in two hits. Because they distract enemies. Okay, we're just gonna go, because these guys take way too long. I don't think you guys want to see me just wail on them for unto infinity. What? 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 Oh, okay. Not to mention, Lumong is going to most assuredly go down if we take too long to get to him. Yeah, and here's Menguo again. Alright. One thing that's really annoying is that there's a cutscene that if you personally defeat Meng Huo every time he shows up, there's a cutscene when you defeat him for the last time. Uh, but you don't get it if anyone else lands any of the finishing blows. And that means anyone else. Oh, uh, oh, that's fun. I see this body slams nothing. I'm probably about to lose a bodyguard, but or many, I don't know. Alright. Let's get you up, yep. Goodbye, my dear friend. There we go, Meng Huo, down, awesome. And there goes another bodyguard. You 
haven't beaten me yet! Ah, uh, and there's- here, there goes another one, I think. Oh wait, no, no, he's still alive. I think I have two left. No, I have three left. Health. For all. More health. More health, please. Please. Or double attack. That works too, I guess. Alright, let's it continue on. And Mega was on the other side of the map. Let's capture him again. Capture? I mean, he kinda runs. A lot. <laughs> Since we're here... Clean them out a bit. Ow. My own fault, I kinda walked in front of that. Alright, there should be- I think there's an officer here, but I don't know for sure. Ah, oh, yes, shoe bow. Enemies have a really funny habit of letting down their guard right before I use that attack. Uh, thank you, Mysterious Archers. That actually helped me a lot. Don't fall behind. I love archers, but they're on my side. When I play game when I play strategy games, I often oversaturate myself with ranged units. When I play Novodog's ambition, I always have a lot. There we go. When I play Nobunaga's Ambition, I typically have, uh, always try to have an absurd amount of muskets. I have to defeat Meng- I- well, I don't have to, but I want to defeat him personally, so that- alright, good. So far we've defeated him ourselves this entire time. One of the few times in this game where chaosing actually matters. Yes, me again. I'm noticing a recurring theme. Now, li Luma? Really, Lumung's morale isn't gonna go up? Maybe it already did and I missed it. I hope it did. What is Lumung's morale actually at this exact moment? There he is. Three. And he has four. I mean, I just dropped it. Where are my 
bodyguards. I think that I think that they're way behind me at this point. I mean, is this river- is the river actually poisonous? I mean, there's poisonous pools of awesome, that's what I was hoping for. I forgot to grab a horse. I keep doing that. Well, actually, if I leave Mengolo, he's gonna be defeated by my for my own soldiers, because my morale's Ah. Well, that was a Tad obnoxious. Right. I had an alarm set so I could cut the video off earlier. And I forgot this is recording all desktop audio. Well, I'm gonna have to come up with a better solution for that. But, so, we're this, this actually does seem like a good place to, uh, end this video. I will ret continue recording. It's just that I don't have uh, my editing software isn't working quite right, so just keeping them separate video files works best. So, I will see you in part two of the non-mod campaign.